This video is on how to use a pooter for mosquito collection with the Newfoundland and Labrador Mosquito Project. So you will um, get your mosquito collection package uh, from the project and what it's going to contain is um, first thing is some information about the project as well as some contact information and on the other side there's going to be instructions on how to do mosquito collection. The other sheet in there is some contact information we need to get from you as well as your data that you're going to uh, record from your samples. You should have a couple of collection tubes. Um, you'll also notice they have a cotton ball on the bottom. That's just to help protect the samples. Um, just leave the cotton ball in there. And then you have your puttering device that I will show you how to uh, get ready for mosquito collection. All right, so go ahead and unscrew the lid of your collection tube and you can pop on the rubber stopper here all right so at this point you're pretty much ready to go out and collect mosquitoes so i'll just show you how this works um you'll notice how there's two lengths of straws here one of them is for the one that you suck onto and the other one is where the mosquito sample goes into okay so the shorter one is the one that you put to your mouth but if you're unsure you forget go ahead just look underneath the one that has the the screen on it is the one that you suck in so that you can't inhale the mosquito sample. Um, so that's another way of checking as well. So you put that on and you are ready to go out. Now we're interested in getting mosquitoes that are flying around humans. So if you go out with a friend or if you're out on your own, you can collect when they're flying around you. But we're not interested in getting samples that are from dogs or horses or non-human animals. So just keep in mind uh, when you're collecting. So let's say I'm out and I have a mosquito on my arm that I want to collect. So I go ahead and put the, the um, rubber tubing up to my arm where the mosquito is and I inhale. Okay, short, fast inhale is fine. And the mosquito will travel all the way up the tube and then it's going to get caught in the collection tube down here. So you can collect as many mosquitoes as you want. Um, but what we're trying to do is one of these collection tubes it corresponds to a habitat. So if you're in the forest, collect away. Um, but if you then change habitat, so for example, if you go to a lake or if you go to a bog, then you're going to want to have another tube with you um, and switch tubes for the different habitat or location. All right. Now, sometimes, say if you do want to switch tubes, You'll, you'll see that the mosquitoes are flying around here and it's hard to take this off and put the lid on so that you can use this on a different collection tube. So another thing to do is um, just stick this in the fridge or the freezer so that the mosquitoes calm down. Um, and at that point, then it might be easier to switch and to, to put the lid on. Um, if you don't have that right away or just feel comfortable switching it, just a quick switch like that. It's super easy but um, again you can always put them in the fridge or the freezer to calm the mosquitoes down first before you change. So then at this point the pooter is ready to be put on another uh, collection tube and you can go to a different habitat. All right so when you're done collecting um, you want to really make sure that you write the appropriate information on the collection tube um, and then you also want to make sure that you write the information that you have on the tube um, on the data sheet. So you record all the information that we need there um, and this is going to be important when you send in your samples. Also, we are trying to get people to take a photo of the habitat um, and uh, you can email in that photo uh, when you're done. Um, so that, again, that's all in the instructions in the package. So when you finish collecting mosquitoes, these are going to have some mosquito samples in them. Go ahead and put them in the freezer uh, until you're ready to mail the samples out. All right, now when that happens, you're going to take the samples uh, out of the freezer, put them in the, the bag that they came, as well as with your um, data sheet and contact information. So that can just be slipped in there. You can keep your puttering device and do more puttering um, and also keep the information and the contact uh, information for our project. Now you'll notice you know, inside this envelope there'll be a pre-printed shipping label that can just go right on top of the shipping label and so it will make sure to get to the right department at Memorial University as well as it will be prepaid so you won't have to pay anything. So seal that up, pop it in the mail and um, I will be receiving the samples and I will send out a 
email or phone call, however you prefer to be contacted, and let you know that I've received the samples. So um, the project email is mosquitonl at mun.ca and we are going to be opening up some social media and as well as YouTube channel uh, where we're going to post some more videos on um, mosquito information and life cycles as well as more about this project. So stay tuned and I hope everyone has a really fun time out there collecting mosquitoes and again contact us with any questions or comments. Happy pootering!